so there's a new study out uh, that talks about how our childhood experiences are affecting binge eating. And what's important about this and important on everything that we do with food, not phones, is to, you know, bring it back to what are the causes of, in this case, uh, binge eating. And what the study is finding is a lot of those instances where people have positive childhood experiences or what they call PCEs affect us later in life. And one of those um, that they talk about, or a couple of them that they talk about, are positive interactions with parents and caregivers, feelings of relational and internal safety, enjoyment of pleasurable and predictable quality of life. Hey, this is about, you know, mealtimes. It's about eating together. It's about enjoying each other and putting down those phones, don't you think? Absolutely. This is very important research. And, you know, there are so many other things we've discussed that um, support this. We've talked about um, we've talked about Dan Buettner, you know, and how he talks about um, people who live the longest, um, share their food with their friends and their families and have this the, this community experience. Um, so it's not surprising to see research like this. And we also have to think about um, children that are raised in food insecure homes and what types of um, of struggles and challenges come with that, what types of depression come with that, all things that can lead to um, to unhealthy eating patterns. Absolutely. And, and we really need to have more of this data in the hands of our food companies, in our retailers' hands than ever before. And again, don't forget, for more information, go to foodnotphones.com. We'll post this survey, this study on foodnotphones.com as well. Um, and always be looking for updates there about our campaign and what we're doing to help, you know, getting rid of those phones. Be sure to visit supermarketguru.com for the latest marketing analysis, issues, and trends. And don't forget to join us back here next Tuesday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern for more.